The manufacturing world is changing, and companies have found that they must change along with it to be competitive in the global economy. This means manufacturers must learn to work smarter, not just harder. It means simplifying products and processes to reduce the number of times that man and machine must touch the work in process. Ultimately, it means designing products for manufacturing and assembly before putting them into production. For this reason, design and manufacturing engineers are learning that collaboration with one another is essential if they are going to bring new products to market faster, better and cheaper than their competitors. They must design products that are easy to produce and avoid adding unnecessary steps to their manufacturing processes. In essence, not only must they design a product with the fewest possible parts, but they also must weigh the benefits of the various materials and processes available to produce those parts. To help engineers do this, two university professors, Drs. Jeffrey Boothroyd and Peter Dewhurst, began studying and formalizing the process. By the early 80s, the researchers were poised to join the computer revolution that was already well underway. They were able to encode the process they had developed into software that they named Design for Manufacture and Assembly. The software leads design teams through a rigorous analysis of a product, its cost drivers, and the interactions among its parts. It applies a fundamental principle that Boothroyd and Dewhurst identified for designing products for manufacturing. Lower cost by driving the part count down until the remaining pieces become too complex to be cost effective. For example, the use of injection molding to combine several plastic parts into one might eliminate some assembly and reduce the number of parts you need to produce. But the molds for making these more complex pieces often require more sophistication and are more expensive to make. The question is, which costs more? One expensive tool or several less expensive ones? A systematic comparison of the costs of each option and their effects on labor often can lead to some surprising answers. 